name is Jay Alexander, and I'm a singer songwriter. Yeah. Don't worry, just keep going. Yeah, keep going. We'll go again. Back when I was growing up, the kind of music that was being played, there was a lot of reggae, a lot of soul music for sure. 100% a lot of soul music. My mum used to listen to a lot of Aretha Franklin. My mum listened to quite a lot of contemporary gospel. My dad listened to quite a lot of a trolley music, which is our, our home music. Trolley music, he listened to quite a lot of Lingala, but there was R&B, soul being played all the time. And all that has kind of helped within my sound because I feel like I'm trying to get all those influences and put it into my music. My cultural background is from Uganda, Northern Uganda to be exact, and that's where my parents originate from. And they came over here in the late 80s to the UK and they met in London. Not many people know this, but I'm actually bilingual. So English is my second language, which I learned when I got to nursery about three years old. Um, my first language is a Choli, which is my native language from Northern Uganda. I'm currently working on a single with my little brother LK, which is just about fusing two languages together, which is a Choli and English. Um, I think it actually came about from a tweet or a post that I made on Snapchat, where I just put fun fact about J Alexander, I'm bilingual, and people were shocked like, whoa, really? So I started thinking to myself, maybe I should do something with my language that I can show that I can speak it. Um, and then I just got a melody in my head randomly. I thought, oh, my language can fit in pretty well with that. So then um, once I had like the verse sorted, I thought, who else can jump on the song? Jay brought it to me and said, look, I want to put this track together using our language. You should jump on it, of course, because I speak it too. And I just took it on, wrote the verse, then put the track together. No, this may seem weird, because I ain't your man, but I'm always there to lay it down for you. Go rounds with you, get a quick bite, maybe a cheeky Nando's, a TGS, I don't mind. Liverpool as a city is just absolutely amazing. It's so vibrant. The Scousers are just amazing people. Um, they're so friendly. Like, I just remember walking down the street when I first got there and people just like, hi mate, you all right? And I'm just looking confused because I've never experienced that kind of thing in London. So literally, we lived on top of this place here called Walk and Go. So those windows right at the top, that was our living room. We used to come over, that club used to play the hip hop, R&B, Bashment, and that was the spot. We used to go in there and just vibe out, man. Even with the historical aspects, with the Beatles and loads of different bands that come out of Liverpool, it's just an amazing place to be. When I first walked into Lipa, I was very, very nervous because there were so many talented people there and talking to people, people just had, like, they knew what they wanted out of it and I was just a little guy who could just happen to, I could just sing. Like, I wasn't taking it seriously or anything at that point. Um, so I was very, very nervous, very nervous. The first time I met Jay was, uh, well, the first time I actually worked with Jay was in a thing that we have here at Lipper called Ensemble, where we put lots of different students together, you know, people with different backgrounds, different genres of music and all that kind of thing. And just basically to see how they work with each other, how they get on, how they create together. Um, and I went into a room, um, walked into the room, we were going through the songs, what we might choose. I think I selected uh, a Luther Vandross song or something like that. Jay started singing it and absolutely nailed it completely. And we thought, yep, yeah, that's the future. It 
he's a great writer. Literally, you can play a few chords with Jay, and he's got a great sense of melody. He just knows where to take it. I had heard him sing in front of the whole school. Um, we had, um, who was it, uh, Billy Ocean as a, a master class lecture. So he sang a song in front of everybody, and, you know, I set out to, to find him, basically, and um, just find out who he was and see if we could work together, something like that. I didn't really know what he would be like in a studio environment. And, um, yeah, it was just like a, every new section of the track, I was just, there's just new, new layers to Jay's voice where, you know, we go into like a falsetto thing and it's like, you know, I'm hearing like Maxwell and like uh, Philip Bailey, stuff like that. So can we go there, go there, go there, babe? Can we go there, go there, go there? Right here is where I had my first ever solo gig. This place is called Zanzibar. And I don't know if we can just get it, but it's called Zanzibar. And it's just an amazing place. Like, um, I had gigged around the place quite, quite a bit, but this is my first time I ever had my solo gig. So it was just an amazing experience. I had Ed Black on guitar, Roji. I had Graham Hayden on keys, another Roji. And it was just amazing to see people there singing along to songs I had never released. Like it was just an amazing experience, man. And yeah, great memories from this place. I met Jay at a festival when I was um, in Ade Suleiman's band. I only met him briefly. And um, then I met him again when he joined Ade Suleiman's band as a backing vocalist. I knew most of the people in the band, but I hadn't met Jay before because Jay was a friend of Addy's and he went, they went to uni together. For Jay, initially starting, you know, doing a lot of backing vocals with Addy Sulman and, you know, and the likes and all that, I think there was always two things going on with Jay. He was always very supportive, he always worked well with others, he was a great backing vocalist. You know, the, the, there's great artists that have, that have started off as backing vocalists, I mean, Luther Van Dross for one started off with David Bowie on the Young American things before he ever became an artist in his own right. When it happens, it will just be, I think, much more special. Because he's always had to do it on other people's terms, you know, being, being the backing singer. Uh, that can be a bit tough, I think, but it's a great experience. I didn't hear any of Jay's solo material until we did another few tours, and then and we decided we was going to work together. And then I said, look, can you just send me your stuff so I can hear what vibe you're going for and stuff. And that's when I first heard his, his um, EP. I've got one song which is my favourite song, they're all good, but my favourite song is Live Alone because the way he displays his harmonies in that, that's what we're going to put into the new stuff that we're doing. Do you know what I mean? I think that's what sets him apart from a lot of people. I'm thinking about the day I fell in love a special way Straight right through my soul And brighten up my life It was so beautiful The material that me and Jay are producing is a mixture between hip-hop, a bit of near soul, R&B, that kind of vibe. Oh, 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 really wanna be with me Oh, really wanna be with me I was involved in the Glastonbury Emerging Talent Competition because I was singing backing vocals for Josh Barry. Um, the way that I got involved with singing with Josh Barry was through Cassell, who was drummer for Josh and also produced a few of Josh's songs. Basically, after we did them four tunes, he um, told me that he was um, entered for the Glastonbury Emerging Talent and um, we had got through to the finals of one of the tunes we'd done in a session. So obviously he had to put a band together. And so I asked him, well, what kind of members do you want in your band? And then as soon as he said, I need a male BV, I was like, I know the person. Definitely got to be Jay. So then I gave Jay's number to Josh and that's how it happened really. Josh got to the finals of the competition and we had to go down to Somerset and we had to perform in front of loads of people. So we're on our way to Somerset. I'm with Jay. What are you saying, Jay? Tell them what, yeah, what we're good, doing. Man. We're going to go down to, to Somerset to perform with Josh Barry for the Glastonbury Emerging Talent Competition. So hopefully we will win, right? Hopefully. And we 
so happened to win. So we played Glastonbury this year seven times, which was an amazing experience. I always thought it would take the UK a long time to get something like Jay. We used to have these conversations many occasions where it'd be, Jay, go to America, go to America, they'll get us so much more. You know, they, 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 they're just more up for it over there. The likes of Eddie London just said, no, you can do it, and just gave me that confidence and that belief to just go out there and just try it. I can happily now sing back and vocals for someone as well as be a lead. Jay's always been ready for it. You say step into it, he can fill them shoes easily. Thank you very much, guys. I've been Jerry Zander. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you, Max.